up everyone? Back again with this weird shirt. Everyone quickly comment below how much you think this shirt looks like my sister's shirt. Or maybe it's a medium, which it is. It actually is a medium. I didn't really control the uh, sizing of this shirt. I got it a couple years ago. I wanted to look good for a video, all right? I'm always in these videos in crappy clothes with oil on them already. Finally, I can put on some pants, put on some nice shoes, put on a nice shirt, even though it's 10 years old and it doesn't fit me. Here, how about this? How about we just walk around like this all day? Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I mean, the shirt's cool. It's definitely way too small. Makes me look like a freaking beast, though. But some of you guys think it makes me look like a girl. I have worn this shirt once. Wow, this tangent has gone gnarly. Welcome to the video, guys. Today, we will be hitting on this engine swap. Exactly the amount of money I spent on this engine swap. Everything that went into it, including the motor, everything down to the nuts and bolts, fluids, everything like that. We'll get exactly into it. So if you want to try to replicate this with your 1.6, if you want to try to throw a 1.8 in your 1.6, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can and how much it's going to cost. I'm actually not going to tell you in this video how you can. That's going to be in a future video. Like I've said before, that's going to be in a future video. How you can actually do it, every little tiny little detail you're going to need to know to be able to perform the swap. This video is me specifically on how much it actually costed me. So let's get into it. Clean like a I guess you guys didn't even really see that the uh, the front bumper is back on the car now too. I will be showing that in a future video as well, how we actually got it mounted and everything like that. Time to bust out the handy dandy phone, aka the thing where I keep all of my bills labeled and everything like that. Going over how many things are on my phone here, it's like, jeez, there's a lot of little things that go into an engine swap. And this engine technically came out of this chassis just uh, a couple years ago. Uh, later down the road. Like I said before in a future, whoa, we're already talking about the future. Like I said before in a past video, this is a motor from a 97 Miata. It is a 1.8 liter motor. It is a little better than the 1.6 liter that the uh, 91 Mike Miata came with. This is a 91. Took out the 1.6, which is over there. That might still be up for sale depending if it got sold yet. Hit my Instagram up down below. Just a little bigger of a motor. I wanted to do it. I kind of had the engine thrown at me, so it just made sense to do it. Let's get into exactly how much this bad boy costs. We'll start with the heart of the entire thing. I will do a 45 second uh, explanation of what happened. So, I had a subscriber sent me a direct message on Instagram saying, hey, do you want to buy this Miata off me for 600 bucks? He pretty much just recently wrecked it. Didn't wreck it bad just sent it into a curb, destroyed a, a, a inner tie rod, and the thing wouldn't drive straight because the tie rod was bent. All I really needed to do was throw a tie rod on the car and I'd have a running, driving 1.8 Miata for 600 bucks. Granted, the thing was like clapped out. The hood was only on by one of the three mechanisms that holds the hood on and a lot of things like that. So instead, I went to him and said, hey, I know you have this other car, which is supposed to, uh, which by chance is a Mazda Speed 3. He had a Mazda Speed 3 and I was like, hey, I will wrap the roof if you let me take the motor out and put it in my own car. I'll give you the chassis back, the rolling chassis back, just let me take the 1.8 motor out. I kind of want to throw it in my car. So I got away with doing a roof wrap for him and his buddy, uh, the two people that technically owned the car, for the entire 1.8 engine, everything on the engine. So the intake manifold, the, the, the hot side, the everything I needed to do the swap um, engine wise, uh, I got for $100, just uh, basically 12 feet of vinyl. It cost $50 to get the U-Haul to pick up the car, bring it to my place, take the engine out, and uh, bring the car back to the person. If you remember in my last video, I told you I went with silicone coolant lines. In total, those only cost $44 for all of the lines except for this front upper radiator hose. I spent $47 on the water pump and timing belt kit. I spent $10 for the straps for the engine hoist. One of you guys actually gave me the engine hoist to let me borrow. I still have it. I've lost your Instagram information, so if you want your engine hoist back, please send me a DM. I want, I'll give it back to you. I just tried to find it. I DM so many people every day. I'm actually pretty good at getting back at direct messages for the most part, but uh, I lost your information to give you your hoist back. I would give your hoist back. I'm not trying to take your hoist. Spent $10 in uh, straps for the engine hoist. I spent another 10 on chains. I spent 50 for the engine stand to put the 1.8 on while I was working on it when it was outside the car, when the 1.6 chassis or the 1.6 engine was inside the 1.6 chassis. 
So that's uh, fifty dollars for the engine stand, thirty dollars for the oil filter sandwich uh, that needed to go on because I had to run my hot sides. Um, I'd run the turbo feed line to an oil filter sandwich opposed to running it to the block like I had on the 1.6. There's a fitting on the 1.6 block that isn't used for anything oil-wise that you can actually tap into fairly easy for an oil uh, feed line. So the 97 uh, motor did not have that, so I had to use the oil filter sandwich. $30. $9 for the oil feed line fitting. $14 for the water feed line fitting, which I actually didn't end up using. I spent $23 in an oil pressure gauge. I spent $24 on the actual water lines, not just the fitting, but the actual lines to run it, even though, to be honest, I'm not even running water on this turbo at all, which is actually fine. A lot of turbos do not run with uh, water going through them, them, just strictly oil. I spent $120 for the exhaust manifold, super cheap. It's a cast iron manifold. I bought it off eBay. I had to do a lot of modifying of it to make it work. Honestly, I wish I spent the extra two, three hundred dollars to get a solid piece. Spent forty dollars in three, four, three V-band flanges, specifically for the downpipe and the rest of the exhaust. I spent one hundred and sixty dollars on exhaust and downpipe piping. I spent fifty-three dollars on intercooler piping. I bought two twenty-four inch by two point five inch, um, basically aluminum pipes. I spent $120 on the ARP head studs. I spent $40 on the head gasket. I spent $10 on the exhaust manifold gasket. I spent another $10 on the intake manifold gasket. I spent $14 on the oil pan gasket. A lot of gaskets, a lot of bolts, a lot of seals. Did all of that on this engine. Spent $35 on the spray paint for the black spray paint on the tube front end, as well as the blue on the um, timing covers, as well as the different black for the valve cover because that is like more of a uh, this thing the valve cover actually gets decently hot so i got a temperature um, resistant or high temperature resistant paint i spent 90 dollars to get to get the head machine if you ever have the head off it's probably a good idea to get it machined so it's super flat so when you put the head gasket down the new head gasket it's going to seal better so you don't have a head gasket leak would just be horrible because you have to take the head off you'd end up doing it anyway so spent the 90 dollars on getting the head machine as well as hot tanked they do that before the machining i put 30 dollars for miscellaneous nuts and bolts uh, different exhaust manifold studs just little things here and there that come up that you have to run to the store get real quick come back um, $30, it's probably plus or minus $10 from that mark. I spent $15 on the rear main seal. I spent $17 on the throttle cable adapter plate. I actually bought that from Fly Miata. Um, the throttle cable, you can actually utilize the throttle cable from the 91 Miata, the 1.6, but you will have to get a different adapter to actually get the throttle cable on. So the adapter from the 91s are a little too small. You have to get a longer piece of metal essentially to get the throttle cable on. I spent $48 on an ignition, ignition coil adapter plate. Essentially another piece of metal to get the 1.6 1 .6 ignition coils to match up with the valve cover from the 1.8. I spent $15 on gasket maker crap. I spent $15 on a power steering belt, $15 on the alternator water pump belt. I spent $5 for an oil filter, $25 for oil, $48 for trans oil, trans fluid. Didn't buy any diff fluid, $16 on coolant, and $5 on automatic transmission fluid for the power steering. Whew! I feel like I'm forgetting so many things as well. I spent $3 on brake cleaner and spent $10 on exhaust studs for the turbo that I actually didn't end up using because I wanted to go with a turbo that was over there that I might show you in a future video that has brand new exhaust studs on it, but I didn't end up using it. I wish I did because that turbo is beast compared to this one. Not dogging out CX Racing, but that turbo over there is pretty cool. So. While adding this up, I realized I missed a huge part of the build. This is a turbo build, so I missed the... The turbo was $200. The axle for the 1.8 swap that I had to buy, because I do have one of the other axles that are fine, was $58. The motor mounts were $108, and the motor mount brackets to mount the motor mounts onto were $30. And I think everything else is on there. So, What I just got... 
was $1,780 to do the engine swap along with a different turbo setup for the hot side. Completely different. I could have saved a lot of money if I did not take the head off the block. I could have saved the $40 on the head gasket. I could have saved $90 for the machining of the head. Um, other little miscellaneous things that you need to do when you take the head off the block to ensure that when you put it back on that the mating surface is good. I could have saved some more money on. Technically could have gotten a T3 exhaust manifold for this bad boy, which means I could have reused my old turbo so I didn't have to buy a new th another one. So that would save me another $200. Um, what actually ended up saving me a lot of money was that I pretty much got the engine for 100 bucks and I had someone do all the fabrication work for me in terms of exhaust man of or in terms of exhaust piping and intercooler piping that was all essentially done for free I just had to buy the materials to be completely honest I wanted to do the whole swap for hundred thousand dollars and that's what I believed I was going to do but if you realize I quickly went over that with a seventeen hundred and eighty because I wanted to do a few things right, replace all the gaskets, replace all of the seals, and that stuff quickly, quickly adds up. Uh, so that's why it costed $1,780. I didn't have to go ARP head studs. I could have gotten OEM head bolts, and those were only $20 as opposed to $120. Could have saved me an extra $100. Uh, but there were things that I saved a ton of money on. So this swap could have easily been into the $3,000 mark. Um, I know turboing your 1.6, many people can't turbo their car for under uh, $1,800. And I did an engine swap plus a new turbo setup for $1,800. So tell me, what do you guys think in the comments below? Do you think I got a good deal for all this? Or do you think I kind of got ripped off and it was pointless because all I did was swap one Miata motor into another and then I didn't get any power from it. Technically, I didn't gain a single horsepower from this swap. But what I did gain was a lot of power down low and I utilized a smaller turbocharger now so again I'm gonna get more power down low opposed to before where I would hit max boost at like 4800 psi <laughs> all right before I would hit max boost at like 4800 rpm and it would take forever because the turbo was just way too big for the motor and now I have a different setup a better setup with a smaller turbo that essentially can and will build boost faster when we get it dialed in and tuned perfectly. So it's not necessarily like I gained power, but I gained power down low. So the whole power band will have more power versus um, only the past three, there are 2200 RPMs has a lot of power. So hopefully we can get like 4,000 or 3,500 3, of the RPM range to have full power opposed to only 2200 to have full power. If you catch my freaking drift, bro. But that's it. This is the entire build cost for the 1.8 swap that along with the turbo swap crap. Um, here it is, baby. Everything looks super clean. Um, I cleaned up everything and uh, it looks like a brand new motor to be completely honest. It's freaking awesome. I love it. But that being said, this is my life, so there are a lot of things that go wrong in it. In the next video, we will explain exactly what went wrong with this entire swap, why I've had a huge headache for the past couple months with this car. Yes, everything ran great in the beginning, but now, not so much. So, in that next video, we're gonna explain exactly what happened in this thing, why I currently am not driving it, and uh, yeah, we'll answer all of those unknown questions. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you didn't like the video, like the video. If you think my shirt is stupid, like the video. Wow, I'm gonna accrue a lot of likes right now. And uh, comment, what do you guys think of the swap? Was it worth it? I'm assuming most of you guys are gonna say no, but I'm assuming the guys that own Miatas and have a 1.6 that go to a 1.8 and know what that feeling is, they're gonna be like, yeah, I completely understand what you're saying. I would have done the same. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye. On this journey we will find our souls begin to intertwine your heart of gold so pure.